Hello, my name is SN Patil, NYNC College, Chalisgaon. In this video lecture, we discuss the Laplace transform of the derivatives. We know the Laplace transform of f of t is f of s. Then the Laplace transform of the derivative, derivative means f dash t. f dash t means derivative of f with respect to t is equal to s f of s minus f of 0 where f of s is Laplace transform of f of t, okay? And here also f of t is continuous function for t is greater than is equal to zero and is of exponential order. It is very important condition for solving this integration. Okay, now we know the definition of Laplace transform. Laplace transform of f of t is zero to infinity integration e raised to minus st f of t dt. Now, Instead of f of t, we put f dash t. That is 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f dash t dt. Now here, for solving this integration, we use pi pars rule, okay? For the, this is the first function, and this function we use for the integration, okay? Now, uh, keep e raised to minus st as it is, and its integration, okay, that is f of Okay, so here, here first we solving this integration uh, instead of upper limit, uh, instead of infinity, we take upper limit as a some number say b, and that is limit b tends to infinity. Okay, that is e raised to minus st f dash t dt. Okay, so here limit b tends to infinity okay now here minus minus in integration okay the derivative of e raised to minus st derivative of e raised to minus st is e raised to minus st again derivative of minus st with respect to t okay is minus s and here minus sign then minus minus plus okay and here b and here zero and the keep the second integral uh, keep this integration term as it is that is the integration of f dash t we write here f of t so here f of t dt okay now see here this is f of t is exponential of order exponential of order it just wait we write here zero to b integration okay and f of t is exponential order it means what uh, limit limit b tends to infinity b tends to infinity uh, e raised to when we put the upper limit here huh? upper limit e raised to minus sb hmm, for t is equal to we put b okay see this is the exponential order hmm? exponential of order that is uh, s is greater than alpha then its value is zero okay using this condition when we put upper limit here upper limit then then upper limit is zero okay minus lower limit lower limit lower limit then what happened e raised to uh, put t equal to 0 e raised to 0 is 1 e raised to 0 is 1 and f of 0 so lower limit is f of 0 simply minus f of 0 okay now here uh, here in this throat uh, this is the limit b tends to infinity for this throat square bracket so plus we write yes yes and instead of b we write as it is infinity zero to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt now from the equation one the value of the f of t laplace of f of t is what f of yes so it can be written as yes this yes yes into capital f of s and this minus f of 0. 
okay, where f of t is continuous function. Okay, so we get the Laplace transform of f dash t is yes f of s minus f of zero. Okay, it, it can be also written as instead of f of t, it can be written as f of s means what? Laplace of f of t minus f of small f of zero. Okay. Now, from this, from this, uh, suppose this is equation number two, we find the Laplace transform of second order derivative. We got here a Laplace transform of first order derivative. So from equation two, we can write the Laplace transform of yub double dash means second order derivative. It can be written as when yub dash t is here, then simply yub is here, okay? When second order, then here first order term is here, then Laplace of yub dash t minus f of zero. And see here, yub dash, then simply yub, yub is here, yub double dash, then yub dash, and here yub dash zero from equation two. It can be written as also, yes, the value of the yub, Laplace transform of yub dash is, yes, capital F of S minus F of zero, okay, minus F dash zero. That is, yes is multiplied here, yes into yes, yes square, F of S minus, yes, F of zero, okay, minus F dash zero. Now, similarly, from this, we can write the third order Laplace transform of third order derivative. Okay. If the second order, then yes square here. Okay. If third order, then definitely S raised to three. Three is there, capital F of S minus, see here, the uh, power of S is decreased by one that is descending order, okay? So definitely here, yes square and the original function, initial function, then yes, yup dash zero, and last is yup double dash zero, okay? Using here mathematical induction, we can write generalized term, that is Laplace, trans, uh, that is Laplace transform of nth order derivative, nth order derivative by using mathematical induction. So if three is here, then three here, two is here, then two is here. If order is n, nth order derivative, if n is here, then s raised to n capital F of s, right in order of s is descending order, s raised to n minus one, your original function at t equal to zero, minus s raised to n minus two, f of zero, dot, 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 minus here, if, if here third order derivative, then here three minus one term here, two, then two minus one term means one. If n, n is here, then just wait, huh? see here, the power of f, small f is increase. Okay, yup here, then here yup dash, then yup double dash. In this way, the last term, the power of yup is n minus one. If order of derivative, Laplace transform of second order derivative, then here simply yup dash term at t equal to zero. For third order, then second order derivative at t equal to zero. If nth order derivative, okay, then here n minus one derivative of t equal to zero, okay? So this is the generalized uh, Laplace transform of the nth order derivative. Okay. Now let us take the example, find Laplace transform of, Laplace transform of third order derivative of y with respect to t, okay? So here, y means y of t, 
okay and the laplace transform of y means laplace transform of y of t we write as a capital y s okay see here instead of y up we write y there if y up is here small y up then we write capital y up if small y is there then we write its laplace as a capital y capital y of yes so this is the third order derivative then the laplace transform of third order derivative with respect to t is equal to is equal to the order is 3 then start from s raised to 3 then capital y s minus descending power of s s square and here original function y of 0 minus s then y dash 0 minus minus s raised to 0 s raised to 0 means 1 okay and here last y double dash 0 so this is the laplace transform of third order derivative you know second example let us take the example with initial condition find laplace transform of the second order derivative of y with respect to t minus 3 time dy by dt plus 2y okay uh, with initial condition with y of 0 is equal to say 0 and c uh, second order then it required the two condition y dash 0 is equal to 1 okay you can write this is the, the just example hmm? okay and if third order derivative it requires the third kind three condition hmm. now the laplace transform of the given problem laplace transform of the second order derivative y with respect to t with respect to t is just wait Three time dy by dt plus two time y, okay, is equal to. Now apply here linearity property of Laplace transform. Okay, by linearity property of Laplace transform, that is Laplace transform of second order derivative with respect to t minus three time three is constant. Laplace transform of dy by dt and plus two. laplace transform of y okay this is the linearity property okay now is equal to apply the property of derivative of laplace transform this is the second order then start from the s square capital y s minus s y of 0 minus s raised to 0 means descending power that is one that is y dash 0 okay minus 3 time 3 time Uh, here capital y of s okay write the term in bracket here s is multiplied first order then s s raised to 1 minus y of 0 plus 2 uh, time laplace of y is y of s okay. is equal to. now here we construct the y s related term hmm. here Uh, y s and the coefficient of y capital y is s square s square now here the coefficient of y capital y is minus 3 s and here plus 2 so here capital y is common now put the initial value which is given the value of y of 0 is 0 here zero okay now y dash zero y dash zero is one okay we get the term s square minus three s plus two capital y of s minus one okay so these these two values are zero. by using the condition y dash 0 is 1 okay 
थैंक यू